Hello and welcome to your Newsmax Now update. I'm John Bachman. Congress is preparing to head home for a month-long break, but before they go, President Obama headed up to Capitol Hill to meet with Democrats ahead of the expected budget battle with Republicans next month. Congress must approve a budget before October 1st or face a possible government shutdown. Senate Republicans say they won't approve any budget if it includes funding for Obamacare. Also, Congress must deal with the debt ceiling again. If the U.S. does not raise the debt ceiling, it faces default. House Speaker John Boehner blasted the president's latest economic plan, calling it a scheme. And frankly, uh, I think we can do much better. You know, instead of uh, working together, the president yesterday threatened to shut down the government and recycled some of his old partisan proposals. Immigration reform is another controversial topic on the congressional agenda in September. House Republicans say they will vote on their own plan. It is uncertain whether or not it will include a path to citizenship for the 11 million undocumented immigrants in the United States. Also, senators meet today to discuss privacy in the wake of recent surveillance leaks exposed by Edward Snowden. Senators question White House, FBI, and NSA officials, while Congress ponders scaling back the government's surveillance programs. There are also new documents released, including the order that required communications giant Verizon to turn over millions of phone records. Meanwhile, in an interview with Russian television, Snowden's father defended his son's actions. My son has passed, so to speak, the torch of democracy. He, he has shared information with us and with the media. Also today, the Senate votes on a bill sponsored by Kentucky Republican Rand Paul that would end U.S. aid to Egypt. The White House opposes cutting off the aid because it says the money is needed to help secure the border with Israel. And a sentencing hearing begins today for Army Private Bradley Manning. The 25-year-old was convicted Tuesday on charges of espionage for releasing documents to the website WikiLeaks. But the military judge did acquit Manning of the most serious charge, aiding the enemy. The former Army analyst still faces up to 100 years in prison. And it's been a bloody month in Iraq with almost 1,000 deaths caused by the escalating sectarian violence there. Tuesday, a bomb outside a Sunni mosque north of Baghdad killed three people. Groups including Al-Qaeda have increased attacks in recent months as the deadly clashes between Sunnis, Shias, Kurds and others show no sign of stopping, jeopardizing stability in the country. And next up on your Newsmax Now update, the Russian people say something smells fishy at the Kremlin. The backlash over Russian President Vladimir Putin's latest exposition of bravado. Plus a Newsmax exclusive with James Zogby, founder of the Arab American Institute, who has the most to gain and the most to lose in this latest round of Mideast Peace Talks. Attention hip implant patients. Are you in constant pain? Have you received a letter from your doctor about your implant? Have you had or need a revision surgery? Do you have high levels of metal, chromium, or cobalt in your blood? Over 90,000 hip implant devices have been recalled due to defects and failures resulting in revision or replacement surgery. If you have a recalled hip implant, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-460-1530 to see if your implant is affected by the recalls. If you or a loved one has a defective or recalled hip implant, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-460-1530. That's 800-460-1530. Protect your legal rights today. Call 800-460-1530. This is an advertisement, not valid in all states. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. iLawsuit.com is an advertising group that represents lawyers advertising their services and is a free matching service for consumers. It is not a law firm or lawyer referral service. If you need to lose weight and would like to get paid for it, that's right, I said get paid to lose weight. Just listen to the following announcement. The makers of GCE Green Coffee Bean Weight Loss are looking for real testimonials from real people and will pay you per pound to meet or exceed your weight loss goal. Until now, the secrets of green coffee's fat-burning power has been limited. But thanks to Dr. Oz, the secret is out. And now, this authentic green coffee bean fat burner is available in easy-to-take tablets. There are no expensive meals to buy or strenuous workouts. Simply take one tablet before each meal and record your progress. Only the first 200 callers are guaranteed to be accepted into the program. So if you're serious about losing extra weight and want to earn extra cash for fitting into your skinny jeans again, call 800-383-9230 now. Call 800-383-9230. 800-383-9230. Space is limited, so hurry and secure your spot today. 800-383-9230. Some conditions apply. 800-383-9230. 800-383-9230. Hi, this is Dick Morris. 
Obamacare is taking full effect this year with over 15,000 pages of regulations. You need to know how this law affects you. That's why you should get your copy of Obamacare's Survival Guide. It's easy to read and the best guide to the new law. Even if you're currently insured or a senior on Medicare or a business owner, a medical profession, or really any citizen, you need the Obamacare Survival Guide. In it, you'll find about hidden taxes, fees, and fines, including a 40% tax on some health plans. I warned you about Obamacare. It's rationing Medicare cuts and will trigger doctor shortages. Now the Obamacare Survival Guide gives you the simple steps to protect your family. So get the Obamacare Survival Guide at bookstores everywhere. It's already a number one Amazon bestseller. Or get our special $4.95 offer and save $15 today by going to Obamacare911.com. Obamacare911.com. That's Obamacare911.com. And welcome back. Russian President Vladimir Putin faces backlash this morning in part because of a fish story. The Kremlin released these, uh, this video of the Russian president holding a fish, supposedly that he caught, but the Russian people almost instantly started mocking him, saying that the event was staged. Putin has also faced backlash from the public for laws he's passed that target gays and ban criticism of the church. Both were supposed to increase his popularity, but have had the seemingly opposite effect. And during an exclusive interview with Newsmax TV, Dr. James Zogby of the Arab American Institute says expectations for the current round of Mideast peace talks are very low. The, the one who will get hurt is Mahmoud Abbas, and there will be no second chance for the Palestinians. And to see more of our exclusive interviews and content, stay with Newsmax.com. This has been your Newsmax Now update for July 31st. I'm John Bachman. Now here's the Steve Malzberg Show in New York.